This is the future. Evolution. This is the future. Hi guys and welcome back to Cryptzone. So before we get into this video, I have to give a major shout out to the following people. Number one, Tanya the Brain. Tanya, thank you very much for being there for us. Thank you for picking up my family. And thank you very much for organizing us a place to sleep and for just being there for us uh, all the way. Secondly, I want to thank George Farquharson and Angela Bartman. Thank you very much for opening up your homes to us, for letting us eat your cookies, drink coffee when we needed to, and just being there for us. And George, thank you very much for lending me your tools, taking me to wherever I needed to be to buy the spares, as well as having a battery charger which saved our lives. So George and Angela, you are the best people. And for the rest of you guys, George and Angela also owns a company called Sign C. They are in Nelspreit. So if you want to have stickers done for your car or any kind of printing done, window printing, you know, the windows, displays, even the side of your truck, George can do that for you. George has been doing it for many, many years. And if you just drive through um, Nelspreit, most of the signages of all the businesses and companies is his. His job is phenomenal and you cannot go wrong with this company. I just had to do it. That's, that's my part of doing my good deed for what they did for us. Thank you very much you guys for awesome, awesome people that you are and for all the help you gave us. This is what happened previously. Hey guys. So this is just to show you some of the, the beauty of South Africa. Come on um, guys and join me on this wonderful tour of the Sudwala Dinosaur Park. Sorry about these statues guys. Hi guys, so here we are. We are a bit stranded and this is where the disaster happened. Uh, let me guys show you. So I was uh, busy driving from Nelspreit down to um, back to home. Um, when the car's fan belt decided to climb off or break. I'm not sure at this point what it is, but this is how the adventure starts, hey? Hi guys, Cryptzone here. Do you suffer from pain? Do you suffer from inflammation? Do you suffer from sleeplessness or stress? I use essential oils almost daily. Medication does work. Pain medication and anti-inflammatories does help me. But in the long run, medication is not good for you. Essential oils is 100% pure and it is 100% all natural. This product really works for me. They also sell a variety of different oils for a variety of different conditions, as well as bath salts. The benefits of these bath salts can be seen above. If you want some relief in your life, I will leave a link in the description down the video below. Go check it out. Don't delay, contact Essential Oils, use the code CRYPT1 and get your bath salts or essential oils today. So as you guys can see, the fan belt is off. But there's no fan belt on any of these pulleys. The fan belt is lying somewhere there, somewhere. So now I have to go all the way back to Nelspreit. Of course, I have to find a place to sleep now tonight with me and the four families here. No clothes. No, nothing. And then tomorrow I have to go look for a fan belt and try and fix this car so I can get back home tomorrow. So at least I was able to get a, a towing service. Luckily I've got insurance. Um, people are always complaining about insurance because it's expensive, but in a situation like this it actually comes handy. It helps a lot. Okay guys, it is almost two hours later and the tow truck is still not here. After fighting a lot with the insurance and finally getting it, everything sorted out, uh, they are willing to pay my entire towing, so I don't have to pay a cent. So yeah, I'm just waiting now for the tow truck to come and then we'll be on our way back to Nelspreit. Hi guys, just a quick update. So it is now just past six. The car broke down half past three. 
I'm still waiting for the tow truck to come and pick me up. Um, at least you guys can see the car is empty. Uh, the wife and kids has already been picked up by a friend. They've gone back to Nelspreit. And I've been sitting here now for about 40 minutes since they left for the tow truck to come and pick me up. So all in all, not a really grand ending for the last part of this day. Um, so yeah, what can you do? Hopefully tomorrow will be a bit quicker. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Okay guys, it is two minutes later and the truck has finally arrived. So let's quickly get this bad boy onto the truck. Good morning guys, and um, this is day two, the next morning. Um, I got to my destination last night at eight o'clock and um, I was able to park my car here at this very lovely residence. We're going to take off the front cover now and then we're going to see what was damaged yesterday. I honestly hope it's just the belt. So let's get to it. Okay guys, the scoop is off. So there is our beautiful fan belt. Wrapped up with the aircon belt, it seems. Uh, in there, somewhere. Okay guys, so far what I found is this tensioner pulley. It's fucked. So I have to get another pulley for that one. This one is turning fine. So far that's the only damage that I have. Okay guys, I know I'm not the best at this kind of shit now. But here is a very, very important tip. Something that I just learned from this car. You know how you always say righty, tighty, lefty, loosey? Not in this case. I was trying to take off this pulley. Making it loose to the left side actually just adjusts your tension. To get this bolt off, you have to actually tighten it. Tightening it actually makes it loose. So, in future, if you ever do something like this or work on a car like this, remember that if you can't get it loose the first time, don't force it, don't try to break it off. Just try and tighten it and see if it doesn't come loose on its own. Okay, that's something <laughs> I just learned. Okay guys, so it's definitely this pulley. It's fucked. Hi guys, so um, at least I was able to get the spares I needed. Uh, I didn't get an aircon belt this time, so I'm not going to put it on for now because the aircon is anyway not working because of that uh, airflow transistor, um, what air blower motor transistor that broke. So I just uh, needed the main belt and I got the tensioner and believe it or not, I got the last and only tensioner they had. Um, I had to wait almost an hour and a half in the queue just to get into the place but luckily I got the, the pulley and tensioner whole complete unit. Um, but yeah, another 900 bucks later. So this BM has already cost me over two grand just this month. So yeah, what can I say? Okay guys, after struggling for almost an hour to get this belt on because I didn't know how the fucking diagram works, let me show you. The belt goes around the steering pump, comes down around the water pump, then goes back around the tensioner, around the tensioner onto the crank pulley, around the crank pulley up to the alternator, around the alternator idler pulley and back up onto your steering pump. Okay, so the uh, I put the new ten the new new uh, tensioner wheel on the old tensioner arm because I couldn't get the tensioner arm out so let's quickly start the car just for say one minute and just see if all the belts are running correctly and if there's any major water leaks or any other faults okay guys the time is almost three o'clock again almost uh, 24 hours since the car broke down and I I put that uh, tension pulley on as you saw and I got the belt rerouted, everything. Guess what? The battery is flat. Fucking what's next? Yeah. That's how fucked up my life is. So the battery is flat. 
So, with the, the bad shit, some good shit, the uncle that I'm living with here has a battery charger. So we are in the process of charging the battery and hopefully we can get the thing started to see if it is okay so that I can get home. Okay guys, um, we got the car started. There was no other water leaks. The water level is still right. Um, I idled it for a while. And um, the belt is running perfectly. So we are preparing to go home. We will drive up to El Zoo, which is about 100 and about 100 k's away. And then we'll, we'll see if everything is still fine. And then we'll do the last 100 k's because it's, uh, from where I am now, it's about 200 k's to my house. And if I can make it there, then at least I know the car is right. So uh, let's see how far we get. Okay guys, um, we are about 70 k's or so away from home. As you can see, the belt looks awesome. It's still on the, on the pulleys where it's supposed to be. Um, everything still looks fine. The car is pulling all right. Uh, maybe I'm just paranoid. It's like I have a bit of power loss, but we were going up and down mountain passes. So yeah, everything's going well so far. So let's take the last stretch home. The time is now about uh, half past six at night. As you can see, I'm back in my study. So we made it to the house. The car is running fine now. Um, so yeah, I'm back. I made it. If you like this video, then hit the subscribe button to join the Cripsonian family. Also, hit the bell icon so that you can get notified of any of my further uploads. Give me a thumbs up, it will really help out this channel. You can also go and visit my website at www.cripsonian.co.za where you will find hyperlinks on all the pages except for the main page. The main page will show you exactly what the channel is about. Then if you're interested to see what's happening on the podcast page, you can go to podcast. On the Cripsone live page, you should find out the time slots of my next live stream and what we have planned for the evening. And then on the Cripsone YouTube channel page, you can go and subscribe directly to the channel, see what videos have already been posted and see what new projects I'm working on. Also you can go to contact and you can email me if you have any questions. So thanks very much for your support guys, until next time, cheers.